All right, let's keep exploring Elena's Fairchild Crystal Mandala Oracle deck. Uh, if you looked at the first video, we looked at the first, uh, I think 19 cards took you through goddesses. And we are picking up, actually, yeah, card 19, the first Ascended Master, the teacher um, this who had his school at Luxor, Serapis Bay, and Clear, Cars Clear Calcite. So just a couple of uh, tips that I mentioned in the prior video. You're going to have to really lean into your intuition and your visualization um, with these cards. Uh, just looking at the back of, of them, they really provide guidance around the message. In this case, karmic grace. And, you know, it would be a little bit unwise to look for like an encyclopedia or a dictionary definition of like who's Rapids Bay and what's clear calcite. So just know you may have to supplement um, for the tactical knowledge, um, just do some Google search. But the writing that Elena Fairchild gives you about, you know, the message that she's getting receiving from the maskers and how clear calcite fits in, you know, it's, it's a lot of different information. And they even give you down here a um, invocation to kind of take you through a guided uh, med meditation. Um, so I'm not going to overly focus on the text on the back because, like I said, it's pretty complex for each card. Um, but let's just kind of go through and see who are some of the masters that she selected. Um, so we have El Moria and Blue Star Sapphire, um, Lady, Na Lady Nanda and Rhoda Chrysite. That fits well. Very soft energies. Um, Master Hilion and Green Chris Chrysophrase, if I'm saying that right. Um, that kind of fits well as you know, he helps out with the healing, working with um the energies of Archangel Raphael. Um, that's very nice. And even this card too, you kind of see like the leaf like um edges of it. Yeah. Um, uh, this was okay, Jesus and that's a crystal I never heard of. Rose Rosifia. It's nice. Looks like a jasper. <laughs> you know how many different jaspers they are. Looks like a jasper. Um. Okay. We have Mary uh, Magdalene and Aqua Ore Quartz. That's nice. Oh, this one was giving me kind of Quan Quan Yin vibes, but um, Master Yogananda and Rhodonite. You see, you have the universal symbol um, um, and kind of like a double star like. Um, so like I said, you know, you have to really visualize and, and see what the energies, um, invoke within you. This is really interesting. My moss, moss agate and master Kathumi. Yeah. Like even zooming in on this, like my eye naturally kind of goes to like, I don't know, like the eye. <laughs> yeah. This is also kind of giving me like kaleidos kaleidoscope. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I like this one. Ooh, Saint Germain, Violet Flame, Violet Flame. Uh. Yeah, the amethyst is popping. Like I really in this card, I feel the amethyst more than I do the actual Saint Germain. Um, Master Lao, Zhu. And Zinconite. Oh, here's Kuan Yin. Oh, they gave her Pearl. And call her the Divine Rebel. Okay, I see what you did. <laughs> uh, Ascended Master White Matthew. And Danberite. Have not heard of that crystal. Um. Oh, this one's really... I like the energy beyond, beyond with this one. Um. Wow. It's hard to explain, like, when you work. Because I'm sitting here like, I keep saying to myself... Digital shaman, use your words like wow and oh my god, it's not <laughs> it's not giving the people what they need. But this one makes me feel comforted with the blue. But I think it's also, yeah, almost like you see at the top, like heaven's call with the with the yellow uh edging around. That's what I feel with this. And Celestite, so like all the ITE crystals, blue calcite. They're very soft, so I feel like, feel like I'm picking up on that softness. Um, let me see what they, I'm trying to see what, what they kind of wrote. So, unconditional trust, I mean, that's... Well, 
know, it says right here for the worry and anxious mind, deep relief. I mean, I think I also can kind of discern. It's like I said, sorry, y'all, it's a lot of text. Um, But here, I like the invocation or like the prayers. Like here, I feel so safe. Excuse me. I feel so safe, loved, protected, guided, um, helped by and helped and supported by the universal mother. Because I think what this card makes me feel, it says unconditional trust. There is a safety. Like heaven's light is shining down on me despite the the challenges I may be having here on earth. There is support. You know, I am going to be cleansed. I, you know, to me, if you're going to be living or walking in some sort of faith, what is that but not unconditional trust and something, something higher and bigger than us. Uh, So, yeah, so this car really, yeah, really, really feel, feel those energies. I love the picture. Um, Okay, we have Ascended Master Buddha, Par- Paradot. That's another green healing. And then look, look in the, um, the pictures. Is that like babies, twin flames, souls coming together? To me, that's like souls coming together. And like, to me, this is a great chasm. Wow. Yeah. You have to, like I said, just let your mind flow to what you see and feel. Let's go back. Oh, look at the light with this. Master Helios. 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 That's the sun. Like, li- literally, this is... Like, I'm surprised they didn't use... Oh, they used citrine. Okay, citrine, which is good. Because I'm like, citrine, bumblebee jasper. Bumblebee jasper buzzes harder. But citrine is pure, pure uh, sunlight. Let's see what they wrote for the for the blessing. Um, May my light be self-perpetuating... Shining the truth of love. Yeah. Also fine too with the messages. Like this is not a, oh, I'm going to like take a look at this card and <laughs> like I got five minutes. I'm going to take a look at my card and make my tea. Like you got to sit down because for me, I've been training myself on the visuals. Cause like, no offense. This is a lot of text. <laughs> So sometimes I used to feel bad, like, okay, spirit, I'm trying to make time for everything here, but there's a lot of text. So do what you can and just know that this is a deck that, you know, almost like the layers we see with the different graphics, you know, it can be processed in small bits and pieces. Um, So keep that in mind. Uh, send it Master Marilyn. <laughs> Read the energy. Marilynite is, it's a comical crystal. I'm going to leave it like that. <laughs> Ascender Master Babaji Diamond. Master Mataji Crimson. Wow, look at the red in this one, y'all. Wow, and so what comes to mind with this one? Almost like, so I, I thought about blood. Like, this looks like blood vessels. And then it's like relief and repair. Like, isn't blood one of the systems the human body uses? Oh, they talked about warmth and nurturing. Oh, when the light of of spirit burns too bright. That's interesting. We ask you to soften and relax into the rich red energy now. So that's good, too, because I feel like with these cards and this, this deck, you know, like something to really guide you through each component of the card um okay and i think our next one at card 37 is the goddess which is the last set of energies so um very nice so we went from master mataji to i think we opened up with um yeah one of my favorite serapis bay um and crystal masters are the 333 angel number energy so i'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording um and then we will do the goddess as the last set and that will complete the review of crystal mandala oracle